Massive red supergiant star Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its lifespan, at least in cosmic terms. But the huge fireball is going out with a bang. In fact, NASA just announced astonishing details related to the Betelgeuse explosion, and this is what happens next. Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse. Saying its name three times won't have the same effect as a certain bio-exorcist, but it's still a sight to see. Betelgeuse is one of the largest stars in our universe. It is about 950 times bigger than our sun, but that comes with a price. Just like humans, stars have an expected length of life, and Betelgeuse is no different. It's a ready-to-go time bomb, but we don't know when it will go off. So, what if Betelgeuse exploded today? What would happen to the Earth? Will the universe ever be the same again? Let's find out in today's video. At a distance of only 650 light-years from Earth, Betelgeuse is one of the stars that is closest to us. Because of this, both professional and amateur astronomers are fascinated by Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a red giant star, which means that when it dies, it will explode in a supernova, possibly turning into a black hole in the process. Let's say that today is the day Betelgeuse decides to stop shining and puts on a great light show. But before you buy tickets for Betelgeuse's big show, you might want to know what kind of damage an exploding star could do to Earth. Well, you could compare stars to nuclear power plants. If they go off, it will be a disaster on a galactic scale. Everything within 50 light years of Betelgeuse when it blows up will be hit by huge shock waves and covered in dust and radiation. Will you survive the astronomical explosion? Watch till the end to find out. Monster Star had never before seen Titanic eruption. The star Betelgeuse looks like a brilliant, ruby red, twinkling spot of light in the upper right shoulder of the winter constellation Orion the Hunter. But when astronomers look at it up close, they see a monster with a 400 day long heartbeat and regular pulsations. This old star is called a supergiant because it has grown so big that its diameter is about 1 billion miles. If you put it in the middle of our solar system, it would reach as far as Jupiter's orbit. In the end, the star will blow up as a supernova. When that happens, it will briefly be able to be seen from Earth during the day. But there are a lot of fireworks going off now before the final explosion. Using Hubble and other telescopes, astronomers have figured out that a huge piece of the star's visible surface blew off in 2019. No star has ever looked like this before. The Sun's outer atmosphere, called the corona, is constantly thrown out in large amounts by its moody nature. But these things are a lot less powerful than what happened on Betelgeuse. In late 2019, when the star suddenly went dark, this was the first sign. As the surface that was thrown away cooled, it turned into a huge cloud of dust that made it hard to see. Astronomers have now put together a plan for what caused the earthquake, and the star is still getting better. The photosphere is putting itself back together, and the inside is shaking like a bell that has been hit with a sledgehammer, which is throwing off the normal cycle of the star. This doesn't mean that the monster star is going to blow up anytime soon, but the shaking may continue to amaze astronomers. After looking at data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and a few other observatories, astronomers have come to the conclusion that the bright red supergiant star Betelgeuse lost a big chunk of its visible surface, causing a huge surface mass ejection. This is something that a normal star has never done before. In what is called a coronal mass ejection, parts of the Sun's thin outer atmosphere are blown away, but the Betelgeuse SME blew off 400 billion times as much mass as a typical CME. The monster star is still slowly getting back to normal after this terrible event. Andrea Dupree of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian in Cambridge, Massachusetts, said, Betelgeuse is still doing some very strange things. The inside is kind of bouncing. With the help of these new observations, scientists are learning more about how red stars lose mass as their nuclear fusion furnaces run out of fuel and before they explode as a supernova. How they turn out depends a lot on how much mass they lose. But Betelgeuse's strangely spoiled behavior isn't proof that the star is going to blow up soon. So the loss of mass is not always a sign that an explosion is about to happen. Dupree is now putting together all the pieces of the star's grumpy behavior before, after, and during the eruption into a story about an aging star's first ever titanic convulsion. This includes new data from the Stella Robotic Observatory, the Fred L. Whipple's Observatory's Tillinghast Reflector Etchell Spectrograph, or TRACE, NASA's Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory Spacecraft, or STEREO-A, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, 
and the American Association of Variable Star Observers, or AVSO. Dupree says over and over that the Hubble data was the key to solving the mystery. We've never seen a huge amount of mass fly off the surface of a star before. Something is going on that we don't fully understand. It's a completely new thing that Hubble lets us look at directly and see surface details. We can see how stars change in real time. The huge explosion in 2019 may have been caused by a convective plume that rose from deep inside the star. It was more than a million miles wide. It caused shocks and pulsations that blew the piece of photosphere off, leaving the star with a large cool surface area under the dust cloud made by the piece of photosphere cooling down. Betelgeuse is now having a hard time getting better. The broken piece of photosphere, which was about several times as heavy as our moon, shot off into space and cooled into a dust cloud that blocked the light from the star as seen from Earth. The dimming started in late 2019 and went on for a few months. Even people who watched the star from their backyards could see it. Betelgeuse is easy to find because it is one of the brightest stars in the sky. It is on the right shoulder of the Orion constellation. Even more amazing is that the supergiant's 400-day pulse rate has stopped. Maybe for good. Astronomers have been able to measure this rhythm for almost 200 years by watching how Betelgeuse's brightness and surface moves. The fact that it caused trouble shows how bad the blowout was. Dupree thinks that the star's convection cells, which cause it to pulse regularly, may be moving around like water in an unbalanced washing machine tub. Trace and Hubble spectra suggest that the outer layers may be back to normal, but the surface is still bouncing like a plate of gelatin dessert as the photosphere rebuilds itself. Even though our sun has coronal mass ejections that blow off small pieces of its outer atmosphere, astronomers have never seen such a large amount of a star's visible surface get blasted into space. So. Surface mass ejections and coronal mass ejections might not be the same thing. Betelgeuse is now so big that if it were to take the place of the Sun at the center of our solar system, its surface would go past Jupiter's orbit. In 1996, Dupree used Hubble to find hotspots on the surface of a star. This was the first time a star other than the Sun was seen straight on. As the material keeps moving away from the star, NASA's Webb Space Telescope might be able to see it in infrared light. Betelgeuse could be as close to Earth as 724 light-years away, although some estimates place it farther away. Determining distances to red supergiant stars such as Betelgeuse is a vexing problem in astronomy. Even though Betelgeuse is far away, it is one of the brightest stars in the Earth's sky because it is very bright on its own, about 100,000 times brighter than our Sun. Betelgeuse has so much energy that it burns through its fuel quickly, which speeds up the end of its life. Someday soon, the star will run out of fuel, fall apart from its own weight, and then explode in a supernova. When this happens, Betelgeuse will get very bright for a few weeks or months, maybe getting as bright as the full moon and being able to be seen during the day. When is it going to go off? Most likely, it won't happen during our lives, but in reality, no one knows when it will actually go off. It might happen tomorrow or in a million years. Will its supernova destroy Earth? Whenever Betelgeuse does blow up, our planet Earth is too far away for this explosion to harm, much less destroy, life on Earth. Astrophysicists say we'd have to be within 50 light-years of a supernova for it to harm us, and Betelgeuse is over 14 times this distance. Instead, anyone alive on Earth when it happens will see an amazingly beautiful sight in the night sky, a very, very, very bright star. Astronomers will be lucky to have Betelgeuse as close as it is so that they can study the star post-supernova. Betelgeuse in the night sky At mid-northern latitudes, Betelgeuse rises about sunset on January 1st of each year. The star is prominent in the evenings of January and February. By the start of March, this star is directly south in the early evening. By the middle of May, you can see it briefly in the west after sunset. Early in the summer, Betelgeuse moves behind the sun. By mid-July, it moves back to the east before dawn. The star Betelgeuse is a distinctive shade of orange-red that isn't too bright. It's a great way to show people who don't believe that stars do have colors. Most of the time, the brightest stars in a constellation are called Alpha, but Betelgeuse is Alpha Orionis, even though it is not as bright as Rigel, which is the other bright star in Orion. Betelgeuse is the tenth brightest star in the sky, and it's the seventh brightest star that can be seen from most of the US, Canada, Europe, and the rest of the Northern Hemisphere. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, 
What are your thoughts about the red giant star Beetlejuice's unprecedented explosion? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video, leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. See you guys in the